Well, welcome back to this week's edition of Bailey Build. I'm Anthony Bailey, and this week it's all about restoring a beautiful bench. This came in from a client that had been sitting outside for a few years and it got kind of weathered, but it's a family heirloom and they interested me while restoring it. Here's how I did it. I started this project by securing the bench to my workbench. To do this, I used two large Bessie clamps. This ensured that the bench did not move during the sanding process. I began by using 3M's ultra durable 60 grit sandpaper. With sandpaper, the lower the number, the rougher the surface. The sandpaper was part of a tool haul that I recently did with our friends from Ace Hardware. I've added a link to it in the description below. With the bench sitting outdoors for a while, it was important to remove those outer layers and get down to the surface. After finishing one end, it was time to move on to the seat. I found that taking my time using long passes allowed me to reach the bare surface. Next, it was time to tackle the arms. Here, multiple passes started to reveal the beauty of the wood grain. Next up, it was time to move to the back of the bench. For this, I tried 3M's sanding block, also in a 60 grit. I found that the flat side of the block tackled the back of the seat nicely, and the angled edges of the block came in handy when sanding in between those back slats. As with many restoration projects, there are repairs that need to be made along the way. Now while sanding, I came across a number of slats that were loose. After exposing the slat pockets, I filled them halfway with wood glue. I also brushed glue onto the ends of the slats before securing them back into the pockets and allowing them to dry. Once the glue dried, it was time for a final sanding. For this round, I stepped it up and used a 180 grit sand block. The high grit sandpaper leaves a really smooth surface. It was really important for me to pay extra attention to the seat and the arms. Next, it was time to head outdoors. I pulled out a set of expandable steel sawhorses. Mine were passed down to me from my father-in-law, but I'll add a link to a similar pair in the description below. Next, I added a pair of 2x4s and clamped them down with a set of 12-inch Irwin Quick Clamps. This set is rated for up to 140 pounds. That should be plenty of strength for this project. Once the base was secured, I pulled the bench down and added a paint cloth. Now it was time to stain. I started by grabbing my Rust-Oleum Comfort Grip. This has been a go-to tool of mine for all of my projects that involve a spray can. I'm using Midwax's Poly Shades Spray Stain in Pecan. Now since the bench was a family heirloom, it was important to me to really maintain the original look of the bench, and the Pecan color gave it a great look and really allowed that wood grain to pop. Once dry, I finished the project with Minwax's water-based polycrylic. It dries clear and will seal and protect the bench for years to come. And as you can see, well, it turned out pretty good after adding that final protection coat to it. It should hold up pretty good outdoors. Also want to take a moment to give a big shout out to our friends at Ace Hardware for partnering with us for some of the supplies for this video. You'll find the link to those in the description below. Until the next time, take care. If you've enjoyed this video, smash that like button. And if you'd like to learn more DIY projects, click subscribe.